Confetti Club. It is Pixie and we are joined today at my school place, at my desk, because of course I got up too late today to ever start the vlog before I actually made it out of the door. But I wanted to do another little vloggy vlog around school for you guys because I did one of these um, during our first semester and then we have had Christmas break. I am refreshed. I have been festively gifted by the snow and I am back here with a fresh mind ready to make some pants in the winter time. Oh my god, it was 23, minus 23 yesterday. Can we please bring spring back? I will do absolutely anything. But for now, let's make some pants. I spent the morning correcting my block and finishing all of the markings on it because I thought I did that and then realized I absolutely did not. So these are like a perfect, perfect representation of my leggy legs if they were ripped off of me and turned into paper. This was the first draft of that. And then this is where stuff gets fun. We are designing our own pairs of pants for our very own selves, the same way we did the skirt project in first semester. I'm not sure how much of that I showed, but um, I am designing these fun, not quite like snap tracky tearaway pants, but kind of of that style. Um, I have my sketchbook at home, but I will insert the sketch here. So that is the next project we are taking on. Um, and this is the homework that I did last night for it. Me construction notes and me quarter scales, matey. Um, I'm gonna go eat a food probably and try to sustain myself for another afternoon of math rulers. <laughs>
Yes, queens. Good morning again, Confetti Club. It is now Monday, February like third, I think, and I am ready to continue my project. I realize that I think doing like a daily school vlog isn't so sensible because these projects span multiple weeks, but you work on it like once every Wednesday because there's so much other crap to do. But I'm here to do a pant check-in. So last night I finished up my pant mock-up. I tried it on inside out, um, pinned it, did all my fitting notes, um, and checked it as best as I could on my own. I think it's good. I feel pretty confident. I love how it feels. I did quite a lot of wiggly dance moves for you guys. I did cut out my front A and front B pieces last night. I was extremely careful. Careful, oh my God. I had to be super, super careful about lining up the pattern because I chose this gingham pattern with all these curvy, curvy princess seams because I just love to make my own life hard. But I am up for the challenge and I wanna try. And I feel like if I don't get it 100 million percent on my teachers won't like actually fail me <laughs> like I'm gonna try fashion school here to learn here to learn and try here is a daylit uh, official introduction oh my god this can you tell I did my makeup just now um this is an introduction to the fabrics we will be using I apologize for my raspy morning voice we are really feeling it so I went to Fabricville and I picked up this amazing, like super big, actual genuine gingham. It's not just printed. Beautiful 100% cotton gingham, nice and lightweight for a flowy pant. Um, not structured. I was originally thinking about doing something with like pink twill or denim, but I just really like this print and I think it'll allow for a more comfortable, like summertime fit, you know? I don't want it to be too bulky, I guess. And these are actually twill, ye aforementioned fabric, but this is for the pocket um, and the side detailing and other fun extras because I showed you guys the design earlier. There is a whole daisy vine blooming situation. That's why I keep, I nickname them the bloomin' pants just because we have to like title all our pattern pieces. So we kind of have to like, I don't know. I like nicknaming my projects. So this is the color scheme. Very, very springy. I'm just dying for spring. So I have finished the mock-up. I've already tried it on inside out firstly and done my little pinny pin pinning. Um, I like the fit, but I think I need to bring it in. I cut out a couple pieces last night, but trying it on again today, I feel like I wanna really get the fit right and have someone help me with the fit because I feel like there might be some like pulling lines here and that might be stressing that like I need a little bit more like room on the side seams, I don't know. I feel like I need help. I really wanna get the perfect fit. It feels really nice. Like I feel like I'm like doing a little samba baby. Um, I love the split down the side and I love the way the princess seams look. I think it really does give me like the silhouette and the kind of vibe I was going for. And they are really comfy. Um, with having these pocket cutouts, I feel like maybe I wasn't supposed to make them mock up like this because I can't get an accurate read of the waist fit because there's like these giant cutouts where the pockets would be. But I really, I think, I think the pattern is on a good track. Maybe I'm wearing them at a stupid place, but if I wear them here, then I think I need more room on the side seams. Where's my true, true, true waist? Ugh, I wish I had like a piece of freaking here. <laughs> ah, not that much, not that much, not that much. My waist isn't that big. I'm going to tie a ribbon around the smallest part of my waist. That's your true waist and that's where you bend. If you're ever wondering if you want to find your like true, true, true waisty waist, do a little cheeky bend. Just a little cheeky bend. And if you do the cheeky bend with the ribbon, then it'll like settle into the perfect place. And if you're a little thick, it'll settle into the crease, right into the little fold, your velvety folds. So mine's about there. So if I pull him up, up here, that's where that rests. Well then that's quite good, actually. Bend, 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 bend. What? I think it needs to come up a bit more. I think I need, I'd add like another two centimeters in the back. I think I might need another person to help me fit. Do I need another person to help me fit? 
Uh, how fun is that though? <laughs> like so fun? Can I take one of those Instagram selfies where they like put the foot off the table and then they hold their phone like meh? Those are sick as hell. What a good way to show your shoes. When did those become normalized? Have you ever tried to take an Instagram photo where you like take your platform booted foot and put it up on like by the freaking sink? Kudos to y'all that do that regularly. You are flexible as hell. I want to be n not <laughs> not pessimistic, but realistic that there's no way I'm gonna have like a beautiful finished representation of my pant by the time this vlog has to go up. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Um, stay tuned on my Instagram or maybe if you guys want me to do a second school vlog near the end of this project wrapping up if you want to see the finished like daisy but fun flip. I'm still wearing the mock-up little little split side leg flared pant situation. I don't know what I'm doing. But for now I am just going to get my nose down in the paint and start tracing lines. Uh, my life is definitely very overruled by college and fashion stuff right now, which I love, but yeah, sometimes it can help to just kind of share what I'm doing with you guys. And if you'd like to help support me even further on my art and fashion school journey, you can check out my Patreon in the description for a bunch of fun perks, including my monthly live streams and newsletters and having your name in the end card and description. Lots and lots of fun stuff. I'll link that down below. This video's Fiji Confetti Club member is chibiclover.exe on Instagram, who did this absolutely lovely artwork of me. As an Ojo Majo, this is traditional art, I believe. Can I get a cheeky look at that? Yes, oh my god, I love it so much. The glitter, I live for a good scanned glitter. There's something about that specific aesthetic, not even glitter in real life, but glitter that's been scanned and is like, I just love how it looks. It's such, it's such a mood. I love this so, so much. The little flowers in the text, I'm dead, you killed me in the best way. Thank you so, so much for your support. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one is over. Bye.